What's up guys, this is Little John, and what I have for you today is the start of a new video series that I'm going to be running. This is going to be a class overviews uh, for some of the different um, roles that we have in EverQuest. Uh, I'm going to start off with the basics, with the warriors, the clerics, the rogues, and the monks, and then branch out into other classes and roles, like the different crowd control classes that you have, maybe some of the different damage classes like wizards, um, a lot of different things based on your feedback. So what I got for you today is going to be our warrior guide. So what are warriors? Well, the warriors are the tanks simply put. They're the ones that control the fight. They're the ones that do the mana checks. They're the ones that work with the pullers to make sure that the group or the raid, whichever uh, whichever size element you're in, um, is ready to kill whatever mob it is. And how do you do that? Well, the biggest thing is communication. You need to make sure that you speak to your group, you know, whether that's in uh, GSA, if you're just doing a, a random pickup group, or if it's in a raid, you make sure if you're talking through your voice or, with, you know, make sure you're communicating the proper channels to express to everyone that, hey, we're about to kill a mob, and this is where we're going to kill it, and this is how we're going to do it. Um, at lower levels, when you're doing a lot of pickup groups, some of the key things that you, as the warrior, um, need to understand is that you are the center of that group. Um, everything that's brought to camp is your responsibility. You designate the target, and then you attack it. You make sure you taunt it, take aggro, and it's your job to, to have that mob hitting you. Uh, the DPS need to understand that they have to control their aggro, and the healers need to make sure that you're the one that needs to be healed above all else. Um, at lower levels, you are the one that's also going to give the command to run um, or to stay and fight, those different types of things. At higher levels, um, you really just kind of work with the group to make sure, hey, you know, let's slow down the pulls a little bit, or hey, um, we can pick it up a little bit more bring a couple more uh, mobs into camp so we can kill these things. Make sure that you always do your mana checks with the healers um, and your other DPS classes. Make sure that you're ready to attack and kill whatever mob it is. So the biggest thing that you need to worry about or work on is the communication within the group. So the first concept I want to go over is going to be the side pin. So this is a good technique to keep a mob in place so that the tank stays in range of the healers and that the mob isn't sliding all over the place. So you see Panzer over here has uh, got this Onyx Sky Drake engaged and that Kumasar and Morricone and Jaybird are pushing this Onyx Sky Drake up against the wall. Now if you look here, I've got a, I've drawn some lines on the on this mob to show you exactly where it is that you need to be positioned. So in the blue, we've got the tank. We've got, it looks like Panzer there engaged against the uh, Onyx Sky Drake and then you see with the green arrow all the DPS. Now they're pushing perpendicular to the tank with this mob up against the wall. So I've drawn these red lines on here to give you a better idea of where you need to be at in order to be positioned correctly to push these mobs up against the wall. One thing I want you rogues to keep in mind is that you don't have to be facing the back of the mob to do your backstabs. You just have to be in that back quadrant of the mob and put, you can be facing the wall perpendicular and still be able to get your backstabs off. Now the next thing we're going to talk about is transitioning from a pin into a push. So as you see here, this Guardian Worm we're up against right now casts Complete Heal. So at a point, the tank's going to call for a switch push. So right now we got it pinned up against the wall. He's going to call for the push, and then we're going to begin sliding it along the side of the wall. That way we can stop the casting from happening. All right, so now that the warrior's got, it, uh, got aggro, he, we're pushing it along the side of this wall. We're pushing it towards the healers right now so that way the tank stays within range. As we get this mob off of the wall, we're gonna start to do a little bit of a circle push. So the warrior during this just continues to back up slowly, making sure that he stays within range of the mob so it doesn't get summoned or uh, so the mob doesn't flip on the DPS. Everyone else is gonna be pushing that mob to stop it from casting. So you see here he comes, this mob comes off the wall a little bit, and as we're pushing the mob a little bit, we start to circle it a little bit, um, but then he dies. Yeah, if we would have kept that thing going, we just would have kept pushing around in a uh, counterclockwise manner while the tank maintained aggro. So there you have it, that's the beginning warrior guide. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've got any feedback for what you'd like to see in the future. Hope you enjoy, and uh, see you guys in Norway.